Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Designed by the Stars, and today I'm gonna to be going through some of the homeware items that I've been collecting. And because Thanksgiving is next week and I am hosting Thanksgiving, I know we're in COVID time, so I'm only having immediate family over, so it will be a smaller kind of gathering. But tablescapes and um, putting things together and decor for each holiday is like one of my favorite things to do. So I went out and I tried to buy things um, that were inexpensive so that, you know, I wasn't spending so much money on a bunch of things that only a couple people are gonna see, but I still want it to be nice. Um, and I think I definitely succeeded in finding lower end like not, I don't wanna say cheaper items, but items that are inexpensive, but look really beautiful. And hopefully this comes together really nice. I am gonna do a separate um, setting up my Thanksgiving tablescape video. So be looking out for that one. But I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I picked up and I will link everything down below if you are interested. So without further ado, I'm gonna start, let's see. I'm gonna start with my Ikea finds. So the first thing I found at Ikea, I've needed, whoa, <laughs> the ring, I have like a ring light going. Um, it's really shiny on this. This is a napkin holder. I thought this was beautiful. And I have a bunch of gold accents anyway. And this was really, really inexpensive, but looks really beautiful. And I'm gonna use it as my regular napkin holder. Um, but I definitely wanted to use it for Thanksgiving, that's really bright. Um, but if you're a big fan of gold, warmer tones um, for things like this, then I definitely would recommend this. I got it from Ikea. Next, I needed something that I could put drinks in um, and I just wanted to put like an iced, I think they call it like California tables, table style? I don't, I don't know, but it's where they put the water on the table and you can just pick it up and pour it. So I got this Karif, Karif, I don't know how to say it, Croft. <laughs> um, this jug, this glass jug from Ikea, it was so inexpensive and I love this little cork on top. It made it very like Scandi, Bohemian vibes and that's what I'm all about. So um, I plan to put just some um, ice water in this and that way people that are at my table can just pour it. Um, their beverages in themselves. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, and then this is also part of, I got stuff from Target too, um, but I wanted to preface this by saying I'm having, it's gonna be a total of six people, um, myself, my boyfriend, um, his parents, and his sister, and um, her husband. So uh, I needed six placemats and at Ikea I found these beautiful, it still has a tag, let's see what it's called, Merit, if you are looking to find this. It just is like this beautiful textured cloth placemat and I loved how neutral it was and it was so inexpensive, maybe like $2 a placemat and I think on the table, it'll just look really, really good. So I got four of those because I had previously been to Target and picked up, these were on clearance. They are hearth and hand um, placemats. So I picked up two of these and like I said, they're on clearance for $2.49 and they are very good quality. Let's see what, they were $5 um, to start, so. Very nice find. I looked online, they are no longer selling these online, so I am sorry, um, but maybe if you go to your Target, these will also be on clearance, um, so check it out. But I just love the little brown um, stitching, and it had the neutral tones, so together, I feel like at the table, it would be very pretty. So I'm gonna put these, the two that I found from Target at the head of the table, and then the rest will be the other seating. So I really liked those. Okay, and then what else did I want to do? Um, is that it from Target? No, I have other things. I got my plates from Target. So me, it's just me and my boyfriend 
um, here at the house. So we really only have two like actual dinner plates. Um, we mostly eat things out of bowls. Um, so I definitely needed to get more like finer plates. This is also hearth in hand. Um, these were $6 a plate, so not expensive. It's ceramic. Um, and I like how like it was kind of misshapen. I'm always looking for those kind of misshapen plates. Um, so that is a very good price for this. I picked up two of those. And going with the more mix matched theme, I picked these up too. I think these are called the Tilly um, plate, dinner plate. And these, I believe, were also $6. And it's by Project 62, the Tilly stoneware dinner plate. And I just loved another neutral tone. It's like a taupey brownish gray. And I thought it would go really well with the tones that I had going on. So I picked up two of those and then, uh huh, yes, okay. So I got taper candles. Now I've never had taper candles. I'm obsessed with collecting like luxury candles, but I've never had taper candles before. And um, when I was looking at different ideas for tablescapes, I kept seeing taper candles and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get them. But these are beautiful, they're green. I thought because everything else was gonna be very minimalistic and basic, um, not basic, but um, neutral in tone, I wanted kind of like a color, and I kind of think this kind of green is like almost a neutral too, but it added some sort of color. I know the light is not very good, but um, these are fragrance-free taper candles, and I think they were only like $3 for both of these, so very inexpensive, and they're by the brand threshold in Target. So um, I got these and then I went to a store that is nearby me, but they do have an online store. Um, I don't know how far they ship, I'm not sure. So I'm sorry if this like doesn't work for a lot of people because it is a local store to me. It's called Beckett Hitch and um, they have a lot of home decor pieces. Now they are a little bit more on the pricier side um, so be aware, um, but they just have these cool, unique things and by local artisans. So if you want to support, um, smaller companies, then this is definitely a place you can shop. I picked up the, um, taper candle holder and I believe this was only like 15 bucks for this. And it's a good weighty, um, taper candle holder and it's like a dark, rubbed brass, I guess is what you would call it. I just really liked it. I liked that it wasn't too like gold gold. It was very muted in its tone. So I really liked that. I got that from Beckett Hitch. And I also got, why, did, I, why did, did I open these? I'm not sure. Um, to put the utensils on, I wanted to get little napkins, but I found these cute little napkins there too. And it says, have yourself a merry little cocktail. <laughs> Not that I'll be serving cocktails, but I thought it was really pretty because it had the gold foiling and it had the green, which picked up the candles. So I was here for it. And then the last thing that I had picked up is, I put some faux plants in here. Um, my favorite designer of all time, home, interior designer is Leanne Ford and she has a collection with Crate and Barrel. So I have been on the hunt to try to find this vase because it's so beautiful. And um, I think because she came out with a new line recently, they were kind of getting rid of the, her older stuff and this is like from her original collection. So if you have a Crate and Barrel near you, you might be able to find it. This was the last one they had in my store. And when I searched online, it said they were not in stores anymore. I think they are. I think this was actually the display, like the last display they had and I tried to get it. Um, but if you can find these, there's some in like a um, smaller size and bigger, I believe. And it's a vase, it's a little vessel. And I just, I love this. I love the way that it's shaped. Um, it's kind of, it's even kind of like the texture is kind of like not as smooth as you think it would be. I just really, really love this. Um, and like I said, she does great stuff. So if you um, are into more minimalistic 
um, Scandi boho style. She is is great. Now it's definitely on the pricier side. Out of all the things, I think this was like the most expensive thing that I got. Um, but it's definitely worth it and it's definitely a statement like centerpiece item. So that is the stuff that I got for my Thanksgiving tablescape. Um, it's a little homeware haul video too. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I am going to make a Thanksgiving tablescape video, how I set up my tablescape and that will be up soon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next one. Bye.